trust me you're gonna be needing a drink for this video we have one bag full of new stuff we have another bag which is full of stuff that i'm going to be taking you guys through we even have a basket because the only way to transport this amount of products is to find things to carry them in and we have four bags pause this video grab a drink and we're gonna get in to a huge sheen haul now i do just want to preface in this video that number one i never normally would shop this excessively on sheen number two i only bought this stuff because i played the sheen game and had 450 pounds worth of credit so i used it to get me stuff but i also did get my family stuff as well now they've actually just gone on holiday today so some of the stuff i can't show you because they've taken it on holiday um but i'm gonna try and show you everything one thing i tried to be really mindful of this haul was making sure that i actually got things that i would use because i know it can be wasteful sometimes anything that i don't wear anything that doesn't fit will get donated to a friend family or charity so i just want to preface that because i don't want you guys to think this is really really wasteful um i mean i'm hoping everything fits i'm hoping i want everything i want to keep everything but grab a brew and let's dive in to a big fat sheen haul so i'm gonna start with the box of accessories because there is so much to get through the first thing that i picked up was this lighted makeup mirror i thought this would be so good for traveling and also just for when i'm on the go it also lights up as well which i think again perfect for traveling there's nothing worse than being in a hotel or a location where your lighting is bad so i thought this would be a really really handy thing to get next up again a travel accessory but one that i honestly think i'm going to use day in day out and it is this like lead and electricals organizer so I'm going to put my SD cards in there, my camera batteries, um, any charges in here, any leads that I might lose. Um, and I just think it's a good way to keep everything together when you're traveling. So I picked this one up as well. Next up, a little bit random, but I am in the gym at the moment. So I picked up these straps, which are so good just for when weights are a little bit too heavy and they're taking a bit of a strain on your wrist. And I thought these were so cute in this pink color. So I picked these up and I'm going to give these a go on my next session. Then I had to pick up some essential beauty blenders. I honestly go through these because I feel like you can't clean a beauty blender like you can clean a brush. So once they start getting a little bit tatty or the product is really built up, I do like to get a fresh one. Also for different products, it's nice to have a different beauty blender. These were like a pack of five or six, I want to say, but I did give one to my mum. Then on the makeup and travel side, I picked up these brush holders, which are so good they're like these silicone brush holders which just keeps your brushes separate from all of the rest of your makeup they're perfect for traveling as well um because i honestly spend so much on makeup bags and then as soon as my makeup brushes go in there obviously you get little bits of bronzer on it sometimes the product transfers so i think these are really good and they're so good if you want to put your makeup brushes in your handbags as well and just keep them away from everything else from getting the product on them i picked up these guys i feel like every single one needs one of these we do not want dusty crusty airpods it's an airpod cleaner so it comes with a cleaning pen and a brush to just get all the nastiness out of our airpods and you know what i mean i i can guarantee everyone has been given an airpod from someone and you've looked at it and thought i can't put that in my ear i cannot put that in my ear so let's not be that person for other people. Let's keep our AirPods clean. Next up is a compact mirror. Now, again, just perfect little handbag accessory. I just got this because not only is it compact, but it also, if I remember how to do this, stands up. Handy. Very, very handy to have. And I just thought it was cute. Really nice, easy mirror just to pop in your handbag or even in your clutch bag. It's so small. It can... It can fit everywhere basically next up i picked myself up some face shavers i've actually never done this but i want to put it in my skincare routine so i picked up this pack and hopefully gonna give myself a little bit of a fresh face then i got this really cute trinket dish which i'm not gonna lie i thought i ordered a cloud but it is this like cute little star flower vibe which i just think will be really nice to put my jewelry in and it's just a nice little trinket dish just to sit with maybe like my earrings in on a night my rings they can just sit in there on my bedside table so i thought she was cute 
Then I picked up one of these. Now, I love these. I normally get them from B&M and Hell Baggins, but this one is a USB one. So I'm thinking this is going to be a lot less wasteful if I can charge it. And it's a lighter for your candles. It also says barbecue, gas, cigar, aromatherapy. You can use it for everything. She's a multi-purpose lighter. Although I don't really feel like flames discriminate. So, you know. Anyway, next up was this really cute ice cube tray. I am a sucker for those ice cube videos on TikTok. Um, the only thing with Sheen, it's just a little bone to pick with Sheen. Not a big one, but a lot of the time you can't pick the colour. And this was what happened with the ice cube tray. It was either blue or pink, but you couldn't pick. So, I'm a little bit gutted I didn't get the pink one, but you know. Everything was free, so let me just not throw shade right now. Then another travel accessory, I picked up this little jewellery case, which I thought, again, so handy for travelling. You can just pop all your jewellery inside and it's really cute, compact and doesn't take up too much space as well. Also just stops everything getting tangled, which is a nightmare when you get somewhere and your jewellery is just a mess. Then I got this set, which was a really good set. I've been seeing this um, wax stick everywhere on TikTok shop and it's this wax stick for like when you slick your hair up but then it also came with some really good hair tools so it came with this brush this is more one for like your front bits your baby hairs and then also a comb as well i thought that was so good to come in a little set and it's a product that i'm gonna need so again it was perfect that it was on sheen because i didn't have i actually lost that comb like the bigger one i used to have it and use it all the time but i lost her so glad i got another one and then also got this wash bag as well. Again, I just think this is so good for traveling or like staying at a friend's house. You want to pop all your bits and bobs in. And just in case you didn't know what it was, it tells you it's a wash bag. Just in case. So yeah, I love this. And again, I've really gone for like neutrals, like nude vibes with all of this stuff, which I'm just here for. I feel like I'm leveling up with all this stuff. I'm not going to lie. Then another thing I got, don't ask me why I've lifted my laptop up with it, but I've been using this already, is this laptop stand. I didn't know Sheen did things like this, but it's honestly elevated my desk having my laptop up. It makes the typing experience so much better. And then some final bits from like the home and like decor kind of stuff. There are a lot of items that I'm not featuring. I got Amelie some rulers, some eyelash curlers. I got her one of the moisturizer pumps where the liquid comes out like when you press it down. I got her some correction tape, um, a gua sha, some organizers for like bits in her room. So I don't have all of that on me at the moment. Although I don't think she will have taken all of that on holiday, but I just don't know where it is. Next up is a Stanley cup dupe. I love it. It's giving Stanley vibes. So I picked this one up in cream. Apologies that I keep touching my hair i just i try heatless curls but in about an hour and they obviously haven't stayed and now my hair's just annoying me but anyway um picked up a stanley cup dupe came with a straw it has like the same vibe as a stanley cup i've never actually owned a real one so i could never tell you whether it's as good as because quite frankly i have no idea then i picked up an acrylic foam stands which i just thought again really easy accessory just to have on my desk now I've got my laptop stand, I've got a little phone stand, although it kind of tilts back a lot. I have another one where you can like change the angle on it. Anyway, next up were these cloud like parcel openers. I see all the girlies use these on TikTok and to be honest, I've just been jealous and had big FOMO where they open parcels. So I picked these up and it's good that you get a pack of three as well. I thought this would be one of them things where you just get one of the colours that they show you. So I'm glad I got them. Also got a little phone case, although it doesn't quite like fit. It kind of does, but it doesn't have a snug fit that I would hope it did. So I don't know that I'm going to use this phone case. I might give it to somebody else. Emily also got herself a compact mirror as well. Again, just for her handbag. Um, more makeup brush holders because I feel like you can't have too many of these. 
I also picked up more of these. I got these in a pack of three. If you are a content creator and you don't have these on the back of your phone, I know they look like a pill packet. They do feel funny. When I pass my phone to people, they're always like, what on earth is stuck to your phone? But this will save your life if you are a content creator. You can stick it to windows, mirrors. You could stick it to most things. I have mine sometimes on my iMac screen and it just gives you the perfect easy opportunity to film basically at any time. I also got everyone a screen cleaner. I've got two grey ones as well downstairs, or they might even be in this bag. Um, these are just amazing for, you just spray it and then you can wipe it on your screen. It doesn't come with the screen cleaner, but you can get it from Amazon. And if you have a few, you can just refill them really easily. Then I also got me, my mom and Emily one of these makeup bags. I love these. I just feel like you can see everything that's in it and they're just super convenient. Although I think this is the one that arrived with a stain in it. So I'm not not best pleased with the little stain, not gonna lie, but I got it for free. Let me stop complaining, okay? Let me stop. Then I also got this, which again, I couldn't pick the color of this. So it's now a green, which I would never have chosen myself, but it's a debobbler. It's a hairball trimmer lint. Remva, a remva. I don't know if that's the technical name for it but I have so many hoodies that have just bobbled and I feel like that's going to be perfect so I picked that up I think that's everything from like the home section so we'll move on to I'm not gonna lie the clothing side of it is two huge bags so maybe if you need to make yourself another drink go and do it now okay first up were these two triangle bikinis which guys I got these in a small for my mom and my mum did not want to be wearing this on her holiday. It's tiny. I got the same one in orange, which I'm going to take back if I can. If not, I'm just going to see if anybody else wants them. Because they're very, like, itty bitty vibes. Which, like I said, don't think my mum really wants that vibe on her holiday with um, her child and her husband. But anyway, next up I got this really nice cardigan. I just thought this would be really nice with some, like, jeans just a little simple throw on. I did get another cardigan, which I'll show you in a second. And the material of the other one is nicer than this. This is kind of, it's not given the highest of quality, which I know some of you guys are gonna say you can't expect. And you're absolutely right. I can't expect too much, but the other cardigan that I got was actually so much nicer quality. Next up, I got this really nice pink top. I do think it might be a little bit see-through, but I think it's just given pink princess girly vibes, which I'm here for. It's this really cute, just long sleeve top. I just think, again, with just some jeans, some maybe black flared trousers, some Uggs, I just think it's gonna look cute. And you can never just, I feel like tops like this are so nice just to grab when you wanna put an outfit together, but you just wanna add some fun or some girliness in there. So yeah. Oh, this is the other cardigan. So the other cardigan is a lot softer. This feels super soft and it's kind of giving Zara dupe, am I right or am I right? I'm trying to look through the little arm. Um, it's so much softer. Again, I love this. I think this will look nice with some jeans or off the shoulder with some flares or some leggings and some Ugg boots. I just think these are so nice to have. And sometimes I feel like cardigans are so nice to wear. If you want like a cozy outfit, but you don't want to wear a hoodie. I feel like sometimes when I've got a hoodie on, I feel like I've not made an effort. Whereas like cardigans just give you a little level up do you know what i mean then i got this swimsuit this is actually for lucy but how cute is this it's given european summer it's given south of france so i will try and leave everything linked down below by the way i forgot to mention that but i will try and leave it all linked down below if you want any of this stuff um my tiktok videos of all this stuff have basically got everybody trying to share their codes to like win because you need people to use your code to win the vouchers if that makes sense but yeah don't know why i just told you guys that next up is my favorite bikini guys if you get anything from this haul get these bikinis this was my ride or die when i did my nine week trip in america perfect hand lines fits perfect it's adjustable and the colors i mean this in greece it's already giving greece vibes i love this bikini so much i picked it up in another color as well which i'll show you guys whenever i get to it it's probably going to be in 100 items later because there's so much in here next up these are really cute i got these ditzy pajamas how cute is this print it's just giving 
cute girl although they do look very very see-through so don't really know that I'll be wearing these too much around my family unless I've got maybe a pair of shorts on underneath but they are kind of giving full-blown see-through but the print on these I just think they're so cute for spring I want to like put my claw clip in and just start spring cleaning the house in these listening to like Etta James is she called Etta James who sings so yeah I think it is then I got myself this purple bikini. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think the second bag, the better stuff's in it. So apologies, I'm going to make you wait for the best stuff. But this bikini I got for me, this was a large. So just be careful when you're ordering the triangle bikinis because they really said, let's go as small as we possibly can. So I'm not sure this will fit, but I'm going to try it on. We're going to see. Um, and I just love the purple. I feel like with a tan... The purple is just gonna, it's just gonna give, it's gonna give good vibes. Oh, this is the bikini in the other colour. So, this is that white and blue bikini in this like nude and brownie colour. Which again, I just love the tan lines it gives. It's not too thick, but also you do kind of get good coverage in it as well. Even though it might not look like that. Next, I got my favourite tops from the Sheen Bay range. So, these are basically a good skims dupe, I'm not going to lie. They are so handy just to throw on with leggings or flares or jeans, literally any outfit. I have put these through the test with washing as well. I've had one of my black ones for like over two years now. That must have gone in the wash at least once a week because I wear it so much. So, yeah. You definitely don't have to worry about the wear and tear on them tops. Then I got these below tracksuit bottoms, which I just think are giving vibes. I like these. I think they're a good little errand or airport vibe. They're below. You could get these in loads of different colours as well. You could get them in like pink, green, blue, black, grey. Can't remember all the others, but I love these. Then I got this dress, which is a maxi dress. It's definitely given Skims dupe vibes, but I just want to show you guys how long this dress is. I'm five foot two for reference. It also is kind of peplum at the bottom. So I don't remember saying that I wanted to be cast for Little Mermaid, but I'm definitely going to look like a mermaid in this because the bottom is given peplum. So I do need to try this on, but I just think little, like, <laughs> little, little, little black dress dress i do feel like black dresses though are such a staple to have i just yeah there's nothing really little about that one other than maybe the thickness of the material next up is another black dress but this one i really like so it's this like high neck dress at the front and then it's backless how nice is that i just think this will look so nice with like hair up maybe two bits down maybe some like big statement earrings I feel like it's going to give on holiday. So I did actually pick that one up for holiday. But I'm thinking of waiting until my Mallorca trip for that one. Although I do have a trip to Marrakesh in May. And I thought this would be the perfect cover up. I love cheetah print at the moment. I think it's the whole like mob wife vibe. But this leopard print. Imagine this just over a bikini, just going to a beach club. I think it's going to look really, really nice. I'm really sorry about the lighting as well. We actually have sun in the UK, so I'm here for it. But I just love this. It's long sleeved, open back. Um, you can tie it at the top, at the back as well, if you did want to kind of bring it in a little bit. But I just, I love it. Then on to the next bag, which I've just popped in here because there's so much to carry in here. First up, we have this two-piece, which is so nice. So, look how gorgeous the colour is for a start. It's a Medaxi skirt, so it's just like a tight, slinky skirt. Cute. And then we have an off-the-shoulder top to go with it. So, this is the top. I think I've got this upside down, but you can still get the vibe. I think this will look so nice on holiday. Imagine, like, a bronzy chest gold jewelry you're feeling tanned you're feeling good you've got this cute little two-piece on so i think she might be a winner then i got these um leggings they are meant to be low waist so they have these big like waistband they're flared at the bottom as well which i love and they do feel a really nice material so i am excited to try these on because i'm just here for the comfort at the moment 
but I like elevated comfort, especially because I work from home. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. And they don't feel too long on the length, which I like as well, because I do really struggle with trousers. They just end up trailing on the floor, they get ruined, and then everybody's crying, no one's happy. Got this package. This must be a brand on Sheen, and it's a good brand. I've never heard of it before. It's called Glow Mode. These leggings, Adenola, I'm sorry if anybody from Adenola watches this, you are still my favorite legging in the world and brand, but these, these take Adenola for a run and they said, let me just add another layer of buttery soft to these leggings. These leggings are absolutely fire. So I don't know if it's this brand, this glow mode, but guys, look how cute the back is as well. Imagine these for a little Pilates class, just showing a little bit of skin if you wanted to. This gorgeous like crossover detail at the back. I love these leggings. I love them so much. I think I might wear them today actually. You can stay on the desk. Guys, I'm feeling overwhelmed and I've not even got to the best stuff. So if you are still watching, good. And you will be rewarded because there is some insane stuff in here. Next up was another cardigan, which I do regret. I do regret buying an extra large in this because it is given extra large. But I think again, this will be really cute. It's giving like princess Pilates vibes with this like off the shoulder, like tie at the front. It'll look nice with the top underneath and the worst case is I'll wear it off shoulder, but I really like this material and I think it'll look really cute over a bikini as well. Just like that with a bikini over. It's given like sexy, but not too LTT, you know? So I picked that one up. Guys, the mountain of clothes to the left of me is no joke. Then again, for holiday, I picked up this skirt. So it's this like nude knitted maxi skirt with, it's got a split detail. I think the split's on the back though, because the tie is here. Or have I got this wrong? I don't know. Um, but it's got this gorgeous pattern at the bottom. Again, I just think a really easy cover up for holidays and it's giving like beach vibes. I wanna wear a little shell anklet with this. Do you know what I mean? So I like her. Next up is the same t-shirt as before, but in black. These are my absolute favorites. The black is the one that I've tried and tested for two years. And I just love them. They really are skims dupes. They're like, oh, the material, they're soft. They're not too thick though. Like I just, I love them. Also guys, I am sorry for my hair. I know I keep playing with it. It's stressing me out, but I've got a haul to give you guys. So I need to just carry on. Next up is this beautiful dress, which I've got for my trip to Marrakesh. I will be covered as well. I know this is very kind of like slim on the shoulders, but most of the time in Marrakesh, I will wear like kimonos and things to cover up. But it's this gorgeous, gorgeous print. It does look a little bit big, but I always like to say that and then humble myself when I try it on and it actually fits perfect. But the print on this is just gorgeous for holiday. It's kind of giving rat and boa vibes. And then it's this halter neck dress. So obviously you can make it a lot tighter at the top. And then we are backless on the back as well. So I really, really like this one. I'm praying that it looks nice because I would love to wear this on my upcoming trip to Marrakesh. I don't know if this has just plunged me into complete darkness, but that lighting was just a little bit too bright. I'm scared that the colours are not picking up for you guys. Another dress that I've got for Marrakesh is again a gorgeous colour. It is this maxi dress. I do think I'm going to be a little bit hot in this because I am going to Marrakesh in May. And it's probably going to be like high 30s, maybe even 40 degrees. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but how gorgeous is this print it's this ruched maxi dress long sleeve but at least the sleeves are mesh so there's a little bit of breathing room in there but it is kind of thick i would say you're probably gonna overheat in this i'm probably gonna overheat in this when i wear it but i just really liking the orange and the reds for marrakesh this year then i got one of my absolute staple dresses in the most beautiful color it is this gorgeous cherry red how nice is that? I just love these throw-on dresses. Again, you can put them with a kimono. You can just wear them as they are. They're really easy for summer just to throw on and just feel a bit more put together than like shorts at the top. I just love these little dresses. I also got it in camel as well, which I don't know where that is, but it should be in this bag somewhere. I think it's in here. 
Um, I did actually have this, but again, I don't know where it is. It must have got lost in the move, but I picked it up again in the camel colour because this looked so nice last time I was in Marrakesh with a kimono over the top. It was just giving, like, simple, effortless vibes. Although I did wear this once in the south of France. It was when we had that crazy heat wave in Europe and I had sweat patches under my boobs and on my backside in this dress and they came through so if you are maybe prone to a little bit of perspiration just be mindful that these dresses will show it okay and and you will get humbled like i did on a train to monaco then i got this dress which i'm so excited for this dress i think the neckline of this is absolutely beautiful it is a full backless midaxi dress so as you can see here the shoulders just sit so nice i'm thinking gold jewelry i'm thinking minimal like maybe just some glow hair up but like effortless i just feel like this is such a nice dress i can imagine wearing this dress with some sandals in mallorca keep referencing mallorca don't i haven't actually booked a trip there but looks like i am after this haul because i'm planning outfits for a trip that i haven't even booked and then we have this which was given jaded london it was really given, um, is this upside down? Yeah, I think it is. Look at the colorways on this. So this is more of just like the rusty orange, but then it goes into like a brown and a green. So it comes with the thongs as well. And then it comes with this, which is meant to be a skirt. Guys, I just want to preface, I got this in a large. So God only knows what a small will look like. This is meant to be a skirt. I think I'm going to have to wear this more as like, a bandana vibe maybe like take the label out and well i'm gonna have to take the label out if i'm gonna wear it like that but maybe maybe we just don't wear it at all because this is just let me just take it off let me just take it off but the colorway on this bikini is so nice and i actually had a swimsuit in this exact style and this exact print that i wore in tulum i'll put a photo here um, and i have to say it was really really good quality and then I also got this bikini in black, which I just loved the different kind of vibe of this. I love the cup detail. I think it's really cute. And then I loved the pants on this because they're given like coverage, but they're also given minimal tan line. So I'm really excited to wear this probably in like the south of France, maybe like a monochrome outfit vibe. And I think that is everything from the Sheen haul. I actually feel like I rattled through that pretty fast, but my hair has honestly been the bane of this whole video. I will try and leave everything linked down below. And um, I will also put my code to the game if it is still running so you guys can use it. And obviously then you can use your referral code to get more entries and obviously then get the voucher. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't. Do you think I found some good stuff? Is there anything you would recommend based on my style and what I've shown you? And yeah, I'm going to finish my Pepsi Max and deal with this mess that I need to now put away.